Norovirus illness is sometimes referred to as the stomach flu. Symptoms of norovirus include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea accompanied by abdominal cramps. Some people also complain of headache, fever, or chills, and muscle aches. Symptoms usually begin one to two days after exposure to the virus and usually last one to three days. During that time, people can feel very ill and often vomit violently or have explosive diarrhea many times a day. Norovirus is found in the stool or vomit of infected people. People can be infected with the virus in several ways, including eating food or drinking liquids that are contaminated with norovirus, touching surfaces or objects contaminated with norovirus, and then touching hands to mouth, and having direct contact with the stool or vomit from a person who is infected. Norovirus can also spread in tiny droplets from a vomiting incident that can travel through the air up to 25 feet to land on food, food contact surfaces, and other surfaces that are touched by food handlers, such as doorknobs, light switches, and refrigerator handles. When a vomiting incident occurs, it is necessary to throw away food and disinfect surfaces within this 25-foot zone. Norovirus is a very contagious illness. People working with food who are sick with norovirus are a particular risk to others because they handle the food and beverages many other people will consume. A sick food handler can easily, without meaning to, contaminate the food he or she is handling, and many of those eating the contaminated food may become ill, causing an outbreak. People infected with norovirus are contagious from the moment they begin feeling ill to at least three days after symptoms resolve. Some people may be contagious for as long as two or more weeks after recovering. So it is particularly important for people to use good hand washing and other hygienic practices, especially after they've recently recovered from norovirus illness. Because hand sanitizers don't work as effectively against norovirus, it's always best to wash with soap and water. Another challenge is that common food surface sanitizers are not effective in killing norovirus. This means that your usual chemicals used in sanitizing a surface, especially when sanitizing after a worker or customer has vomited or contaminated a surface, will not be effective. In this case, use of bleach or other disinfectants proven effective against norovirus is required. Everyone plays a part in norovirus control and prevention. Each of us can prevent norovirus by practicing good personal hygiene. This includes frequent hand washing with soap and water, especially after each toilet visit, when changing diapers in childcare settings, and before eating or preparing food. Good personal hygiene also includes preventing bare hand contact with ready-to-eat foods. In addition, food service employees are required to report symptoms of vomiting and diarrhea to their manager. It is important that managers take action to reduce the chance that food will be contaminated by excluding or restricting ill workers. Managers should comply with local health department guidelines for reinstating employees once they have recovered. For norovirus, the food service employees should be excluded until symptom-free for at least two days. Prepare for a vomiting incident by assembling a body fluid cleanup kit, including necessary personal protective equipment, cleaning equipment, and bleach or other disinfectants effective against norovirus. We will use the body fluid cleanup kit to respond correctly to the vomiting incident and for total cleanup after the incident.